we're getting closer and closer to the full launch of Modern Warfare 2, and with that, we're going to be learning a lot about the full offering of the game. From a multiplayer and functional perspective, we've already learned a lot about Modern Warfare 2's gameplay features and what it will have to offer, but there's still a few things that we haven't seen, and one of those is a feature that's become a staple for Infinity Ward games, but how it will fit, if it's introduced at all right now, is a mystery. Today, I want to take some time to discuss the prospect of Specialist Bonus in Modern Warfare 2 and how right now, there's no signs that it'll be there, but should we be concerned about that? If it does come, how would it work? And all things in between. So as we go along, drop your thoughts down below. Would you like to see a specialist bonus return in Modern Warfare 2? Would it feel wrong to not have a specialist bonus in a Modern Warfare title? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoy the video, you'll find it at all insightful. Do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay with all things Modern Warfare 2. We're in the first of two launch weeks here. So with campaign early access happening later this week, make sure you're here for all of it. And then of course, everything going further into the full launch of the game. We've got so much upcoming that you won't want to miss. And I'd love to to have you in the community as we chase down half a million subscribers. And finally, my friends over at G Fuel have bumped up code Espresso to 30% off your entire order. So if you guys would like to grab a restock or try something out for the very first time, now is as best a time as any to do so. Personally, I'd highly recommend the Morbius Nectarine flavor, Pink Trip, Strawberry Banana, and Hype Sauce. Can't go wrong with any of those. But if you're interested, check the link below and use code Espresso. But that said, let's jump into it and talk a little bit about Specialist Bonus. For those that may be newer to the franchise, historically, what is Specialist and Specialist Bonus? We haven't seen Specialist and Vanguard despite being built on the framework of Modern Warfare 2019, and we didn't see it in Cold War. The only places in the last three years that we've seen it were in Modern Warfare 2019, as well as Warzone as a very rare item. But Specialist originated in Modern Warfare 3, the original trilogy, and was also seen in Ghosts. It had a variation of Specialist in the modes of Infected and All or Nothing in Infinite Warfare, and it was in Modern Warfare 2019, as well as Warzone. But what Specialist did upon certain kills or point markers in certain games, gave additional perks and additional weapon proficiencies. So for example, in Modern Warfare 3, where it began, you chose three additional perks right out of the gate that you'd want to earn like you would your kill streaks, and these were in place of your kill streaks. So you didn't get any helicopters, you didn't get any ballistic vests or anything like that. You'd instead get perks. You'd get your first perk upon getting two kills or two points. At four points or four kills, you'd end up getting your second perk, with your on-hand total being five at that point, and then at six kills or six points, you'd end up having that third and final selected perk applied giving you six perks active. Now at eight points or eight kills in a streak, you enabled Specialist Bonus, which awarded in Modern Warfare 3 the player every single perk and weapon proficiency, except for a specific damage and class altering ones that couldn't be done on the fly. Those being breath and damage, both things that affected your weapons, attachments, which allowed you to have another attachment added to your weapon, which naturally you couldn't add midlife, and finally overkill, which was also exempt from that because you couldn't choose a whole second primary midlife either. But most recently in Modern Warfare 2019, it did the same thing to a degree Agree. 2, 4, and 6, this time kills only since we didn't have a point streak system within Modern Warfare 2018, and you get upwards of your three selected perks and ultimately specialist bonus gave you all minus kill chain and overkill. This offered weapon proficiencies as well, which for the first time was a sort of game changer that was nerfed in Warzone because at a time, Black Ops Cold War Season 3, we ended up seeing specialist bonus be achievable through an Easter egg in Nakatomi Plaza, but it would then give non-existent weapon proficiencies to Cold War weapons, being applied through specialist bonus, giving you all of the Modern Warfare 2019 weapon proficiencies efficiencies, but on Cold War guns, things that literally could not be added to the guns at their base. But that's a brief history here of how specialists worked. But the thing is, we haven't seen this just yet in Modern Warfare 2, and it's been a staple of at least the Modern Warfare games here in the last decade. And for some, this might be a little bit worrying because we've already seen, previewed within the beta, a major change to how kill streaks and also score streaks work. Because if you guys remember, from a top level this time, you can toggle whether you want kill streaks or score streaks. You don't have to take a perk like Point Man to end up changing that and sacrificing a little bit of your gameplay overall to just be able to end up earning streaks by helping your team out with score streaks. Instead, it's a simple toggle in your kill streak selection menu that you can end up doing. So we've seen that previewed already. So is it weird that we wouldn't have seen Specialist already introduced within the beta for Modern Warfare 2? Well, I wouldn't be too worried about it because we did not actually see Specialist in Modern Warfare 2019's beta. And if all things were one-to-one -one with how rollout and everything Thing worked, I definitely wouldn't be worried that it wouldn't be making a return, except this year it's a little bit different because the perk system fundamentally is way different than what we've seen the last couple of years. This year with Modern Warfare 2, we of course have earned perks. The way the perk system is broken up just doesn't really work in theory with specialists unless you end up getting timed specialist of some kind. So would you end up getting just all the base perks? I mean, 
some of that wouldn't even work. You can't add overkill after the fact, but for things like double time, battle hardened, scavenger, EOD, tracker, strong arm, extra tactical, sure, it may be able to work, but that's only about half the perks available for Modern Warfare 2. So you wouldn't be getting near as many perks as you would with previous Call of Duty games that had specialist as a streak package. The important perks that you'd really want, those aren't in that base offering here. Those would be either in your bonus or ultimate level perks. Resupply, spotter, cold blooded, fast hands, quick fix, focus, high alert, ghost, hardline, overclock, survivor, bird's eye. The big question would be how would you incorporate this into the gameplay loop if at all, because of course those are timed and as the beta, even with the fastest charge rates that we ended up seeing for that, it was at base two minutes and four minutes to get your bonus and ultimate perks. Those of course having modifiers that if you got kills or you got captures, you could end up taking that time down to way shorter of a time. Each kill shaved 10 seconds off that. So if you went on a quick 12 kill streak right out of the gate, just theoretically if time stopped, you would get that almost immediately. So the question then turns to if this could come to Modern Warfare 2, how would it work? Well, assuming the system stays the same in theory without tweaking anything, we might be able to make it work with the bonus perks at least. The way we broke it down again, got the specific numbers, 10 seconds shaved off with every single kill. And if we had two minutes for that base instead of the four for the bonus perk, seven kills right out of the gate would get you pretty close to it. Seven or eight kills with that specialist bonus. Give it like five seconds minimum from that match start. We're only about 35 to 45 seconds away at that point. So is it a matter of do they activate after a certain point? Do you end up getting those perks retroactively if you end up getting those bonus perks and you're on a streak is just weird the way that it's all built out right now and while I liked a lot of what we played with in the beta there's also a lot of things that like this it feels like genuinely they're trying to change the wheel just to try to change the wheel and I feel like this is a great example of that of course this is more so an inadvertent change at that point because the perk system was what was changed fundamentally and this is only just like a byproduct or something caught in the crossfire of that change but it's strange that for a system they've historically had success with that they change it and as a result limit other their features just for the sake of making something a little bit different. Just seems odd to me. Now, of course, time will tell. We very well could see it. Of course, all of this will likely be detailed within the next couple of days here. We're probably going to get a bunch of launch blogs, a lot of things data mined from the PC version of the campaign game files. I am very much so expecting a lot of the game to leak out from that, even if it's just the partitioned version of Modern Warfare 2. There's a lot that's going to be tied together that they just won't be able to separate. So honestly, we'll have an answer here very soon. But for the time being, it's one of these last things that having not seen anything on it in the last couple of weeks since the beta, it's interesting we even have this question on hand if you ask me. So that said, that's we're going to turn it over to you guys. Do you guys think it's weird that we haven't seen anything about specialists just yet? Do you think we will see specialists at all within this year or what are the case? Drive your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and DMZ here, all upcoming within the next month. Kind of crazy to think about how much is going to be happening in the next 30 to 31 days. So make sure you stick it here for all of that. I'd love to have you in the community. But for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.